Hey everybody, today we are going to be removing the factory trunnions from some uh, LS1 rocker arms. And there's a few ways you can do this. Uh, you can use a large socket at the bottom to hold the base. And then you can use a uh, like a 9 16 socket or something to press this trunnion out. But there's this new tool. I don't know how long it's been out, but it's new to me. And this tool was about 30 something dollars shipped, which is a lot of money for this simple little thing. But this will save you time, and it's easy and quick, and honestly, it's worth it. So basically, it's got a magnet on the other end, so it helps kind of keep it where you want it at. And you will take the factory rocker arm and trunnion, and you'll stick it that way. And then you'll take this little die, little press. And you can do this in a C-clamp. Wouldn't be very fun, but you could do it in a C-clamp. Uh, another viable option is a bench vise. Uh, that would work pretty good. Unfortunately for this vise, it's trying to pull up on the bench, so that's not going to work very well. So today, we're going to do it on the fun toy, the press. So, you just center it up. Get it close to where you want it, which, that's good. Make sure it's centered. Not going to be able to really see on camera, but for me, it's pretty centered. You don't have to be perfect, just as good as possible. And you can already see where this is going very easy you just let the press do the work if it'll do it there we go I didn't have it tightened all the way. And basically what you're doing is you're pressing that little die into the trunnion and the rocker arm's resting on that tool. So the rocker arm ain't moving but the trunnion is being forced down into the cup. And right about now, you finally pop it out. And you're free. Yeah, welcome to the world of LS. Nothing but performance parts for days. But anyway, Turbo 400. <clears throat> and it's a magnet, so it's going to kind of stick. be a little mean with it and ain't gonna hurt nothing but yeah so the trunnion's out and the factory trunnion itself isn't necessarily bad uh, I mean you have to use a different trunnion if you're not gonna go with the factory style but uh, it's it's the main problem is within these needle bearings uh, and the races they'll come out all your needle bearings will go into the motor and you're going to have some messed up stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching the little informational video. Hope it helps you out. Uh, I'm not going to do an install on this video because I do not have a pair of snap ring pliers and they are necessary. So, 
I will make another video with the snap ring pliers installing these. But until then, have a good night.